learning experience. Um, one I thoroughly enjoyed, but it's not over yet. Still got a big game to go at the end of the season, where the targets that we set at the start of the season are uh, <laughs> hopefully going to be achieved. Um, so it's been good, but the story's not over yet. I'm confident, I'm always confident, no matter who I play against or who's playing in my team or who, wherever I am, wherever I'm playing, it's always, it's always me favouring me and me favouring my team, so you know, whoever we take on, I'm still confident that we can do a job. Um, it's not so much the standard as it is um, the mentality, the change in the change in countries. For example, in Sweden and in um, Scotland, that was a big change. Scotland was all about win at all costs. Doesn't make a difference how you play. Doesn't make a difference. Your attitude still always be the same. Win, win, win. Sweden was a bit different. Sweden was more laid back. They cared about winning, but they also wanted to have a style of play. And Jibs, it's very very laid back, they like having a style of play, they like playing, um, they like to win, but it's, it's, a, it's again a change in mentality for me, as much as it is a change of standard. Yeah, um, back to full fitness, but the space in between the games doesn't really allow me for you know much time to get back into the swing of things, and now I have two games under my belt after the injury. I'm uh, back to fitness, but um, yeah, it's, I prefer to be playing with you every Good, enjoyed myself there as well. Um, again, the mentality of the Gibraltarians has been an education to me, something I've not experienced. It's not a negative thing, but it's something that I um, sort of had to adapt to and change my ways, which I'm sure is going to make me a better coach. Um, and hopefully I can take that into whatever coaching endeavours I have next. Oh, it's a breeze. <laughs> um, no, it's something I've not really encountered as much because we haven't been playing during the days. We play in the evenings most of the times. We've had a few games at four or six or whenever. I've not really felt it too much. I just you always have to take care of yourself, make sure you're hydrated and got the right vitamins and supplements in you. First things first, they'll never be wearing the green and white of anybody. <laughs> but um, yeah, every week they've been uh, supporting me, supporting the club, keeping an eye out for results, cheering us on uh, from millions of miles away. But hopefully they can cheer us on from uh, millions of miles away for the next game as well. <laughs> as long as we change the strip to maroon, <laughs> then I'll be here. Um, no, uh, we as a club have plans for next season. Um, looking forward um, from what we've spoken about and from how we're doing at the moment, things look good. Um, looking to take a, another step again. Next season I'd love to be here, I'd love to continue the story. However, we've got to focus on the big game at the end of the season to achieve our target and then we can talk about what's happening after that. <laughs> it's been good, it's been um, something that helps you along the way, having someone from the exact same place as you, well, the east side, <laughs> um, someone who you can converse with in your local, in your native tongue anyway, because Scottish isn't the same as English or Gibraltarian, but um, yeah, it's been good. Again, an experience, a bit like uh, <laughs> learning the Jibble way, I had to learn Lewis's way as well, so. Taste of that, please. Just gotta focus on the game for next week, no? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott.